Hey, what's up? Chicago and I back again, and we're here to do another OSINT type of uh, Intel Bytes video in our series. And today we're going to have a little fun and do a little bit of CTF OSINT challenges. So when I say OSINT, that means open source intelligence. So in other words, using just publicly available information. But there is some different ways that you can go about doing and gathering this particular information. So we're going to kind of do a, a little walkthrough of the first one they have here. And uh, I started a new account on this one here. Um, and we're going to rock on through and see what happens. And it's going to teach you some different techniques you can use for OSINT. And we're going to be utilizing a social media in this particular case, Twitter, um, for this particular challenge. So that's a pretty cool site, ctf.cybersock.wales challenges. They have some other ones here. Um, I haven't done any of these ones here. Evidence investigation, then they got some general knowledge, which should be interesting there. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and do this. Now, these point numbers here, I think, are so that you can get a hint, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so you can kind of redeem them for that. There's not a whole lot of help file here, so <laughs> I'm assuming everything is on the up and up here and pretty easy to do. So let's click on the first one and find out. All right, let's see here. Vote for me, 200. And then we have a Twitter link. Let's go ahead and open that real quick. It says, you'd have thought politics was a bit of a dry subject and not for some. What U.S. political party does James over here support? All right. So in this world that we are in, oversharing is a uh, common thing. So you'll find a lot on different social media platforms. Some of the people that you may be targeting for an investigation, maybe just sharing uh, incredible amounts of information making your job a lot easier. It is more than likely the case these days that that's happening. Um, but for those that watch my videos, hopefully you'll keep yourself a little more privacy oriented and not have a ton of stuff out there about you. But for the uh, purposes of this challenge, we have this person here. I, I'm, a, I'm guessing this is a real person and they just maybe <laughs> work for this cyber sock. I don't know. But anyways, let's take a look here. So we have James Markson. Got some weird um, status message. Got some followers, tweets and replies. All right, let's go down through here and let's see what we got. So we're looking for, what was it, political party? So I'm assuming, I'm assuming there's probably some tweet about some politics here. Okay, cold one. Love you, Shaw, getting off the train this afternoon. Okay, that's not the case. And there's nothing political there. Wish it would stop rain. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Barack Obama from the Obama family to yours. Merry Christmas. James Markson says, miss this guy like crazy. So <laughs> one can assume by looking at that, he's part of the Democratic Party, more than likely. Um, so let's try that. Let's see if that's the case. So what political party? I'm going to assume there's no cap. Uh, they don't really care about capitalization. So we'll say Democrat Party, and let's see if that's the case. Boom. There we go. Awesome. All right, let's go to the next one. Growing up, same Twitter. Where did James spend his childhood? All right. So I think there was some weird stuff up in the status. Yeah, right here. All right. So born in <laughs> this, <laughs> raised in this. You're probably thinking, what in the world is that? Well, this actually is a website that I had found before, which is kind of interesting. And it basically maps the world in little grids. So if you put an address in, it'll assign a random three, three words to it as an address. And you can use that to locate that anywhere in the world. Um, I think it's called what, what three something. Let's see. What three. Uh, let's do this to go through the full, full cycle. I think it's called like what three something or other, but I, I imagine if we just kind of Google this now, we want the one raised in, right? Because they're asking, yeah, where do you spend his childhood? Not where he was born, but where he spent his childhood. So let's grab this and just Google that and see what's happening here. 
Okay, it looks like a try to file on that, so let's not do that. Let's go ahead and Google. Let's drop over to Google itself. All right, let's see what this is all about. Okay, right there. What? Three words. That's the one I was looking for. So this is kind of interesting. So uh, let's say, let's get an address. Let's do, um, trying to think here. <laughs> trying to think of a, like a favorite restaurant or whatever. Um, I love me some pizza. <laughs> Double Dave's. <laughs> now let me think. Think of something more generic. So you guys can't tie down where I'm at. <laughs> Red Robin hamburgers. I like Red Robin. So we'll say Red Robin hamburgers. Good stuff. I love that. All right, let's uh, grab one location. It doesn't really matter where it is. Okay, this is uh, Sunset Valley, Texas. Sure, sounds good. Let's grab it. So I want to show you what this thing's all about. It's pretty interesting. So I'm just grabbing a random address that I don't even know about. So if you put it in here under search and search for that, <laughs> it actually assigns it this weird three letter, a uh, three word combination. So if I zoom in, you can see that these different blocks, like if you click, uh, let's say the Castle Dental one over here. See how it gives it a different name now? Cones.jedin.learn. Here's Orange Theory Fitness. <laughs> Original Assembly Quibble. It's really strange. I don't really know... This is a pretty cool way, I guess, to obfuscate where you're at and to do some secret code, if you will. But what we want is uh, to find out where this actually is located at. So let's go and uh, check that out. So let's put it in. All right, push.askin.barn is York. I think that's York as in the UK based on that flag. Yep, York, city of York Council. Okay, so he grew up in York, I would assume. Let's put that in. Look at that. Pretty sweet. We are rocking on all full cylinders, baby. <laughs> all right. We need to make sure James is far away when we try to break into his house. Why would we want to break into his house for? In what city does James work? Oh, interesting. All right. So I guess we're still using the same, same Twitter. All right, let's see here. Cold one today. Lovely shot after getting off the train this afternoon. Sat on the train home now. This probs happen to me again tomorrow. Just finished work. That was a tough eight hours. Anything else? No? So... I guess we can assume uh, the only real clue we have would be this, this picture here. So let's go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and make a folder. And let's see, we'll do cyber detective. And we'll put it in there. We'll just say work. So what you can do with that is you can do something they call a reverse image search. Now, a real good one that a lot of people like to use is Yandex. So we're going to go to Yandex.com. And uh, when you go to Yandex, you'll see an images portion right here. Click on images. And then over here, you'll see a little camera icon right there. And that's where you can upload pictures for it to try to do a reverse image search on. So let's grab that. And let's see what we have. That's a pretty good tool. A lot of people swear by this particular one here. A lot of people don't like the Google reverse image search. Some people like 10i. But this one overwhelmingly is the most popular, I think. All right. looks like it is Cardiff Central Wa Railway Station. Cardiff. Keep seeing that word, Cardiff. So we're going to assume... We're going to assume that he's, uh, he's working in Cardiff. Let's see what's going on with that. Yeah, yo. Poppity pop pop. All right, moving right along. 
People tell in the world about their holiday, but is this a really great idea? What city is Sarah? Now, who's Sarah? We don't know Sarah yet. What city is Sarah going on holiday to at the end of February? Hint, unless you've been there before, you might need to use a tool <laughs> to get the answer. I'm guessing we'll probably still be using the index on this one. So uh, let's go find Sarah. All right, so let's see. Does he have any shout-outs to Sarah and any of these immediate tweets? Let's see. Actually, you know, a better way to see that would probably be the tweets and replies tab. Let's see. Right here. This usually is where all of tweets and replies. Okay, so replying to George Watson. So we have a George Watson. Here we go. Sarah Luxton. All right, let's go see what this girl's all about. All right, Sarah, postgraduate geography student. Love to travel. Buster's favorite place. Those look like geo coordinates, but that's not what they're looking for, right? They're looking for what city is Sarah going on holiday at the end of February? All right, let's scroll down a little bit. This place looks so amazing. Can't wait to go. Just two weeks today. This looks like, uh, what is this, New Zealand or something? Or, no, wait a minute. Is that Australia? I think that's Australia. But anyways, let's uh, let's save this and we'll say vacation. And uh, we'll go back to Yandex. Like I said, this is a great tool to be able to go ahead and perform reverse lookups on. A lot of people, like I said, swear by it. So uh, let's tear it up, see what happens. Now, it could give us multiple different locations, but I think that picture is pretty distinct. Incorrect format. Really? What format was that in? It was in JPEG. What the hey, man? What the hey? All right, let's go back to the original images. I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, let's try it again. Maybe it doesn't like JPEG. Maybe it only takes JPG. <laughs> Pretty particularly you are, Yandex. All right, so looks like they're not liking that. So let's go ahead and uh, pop on over there. And what we'll do is we'll do a move command. Now, move allows me to rename a file in Linux. So I'm going to say move uh, vacation dot jpeg and we'll change it to vacation dot jpg see if you like, see if you like that stuff that in your wagon player all right let's see what's going on here let's try this and we'll see if that is good to go wow <laughs> really um, that is pretty strange. So let's come back here again. Hmm. Uh, what if I did image location? Let's try that. We can take that. Oh my, that's not, <laughs> that's not what we're looking for. So let's see here. Um, what if I just did this one? Save image as, uh, let's see. Wow, that is weird. I'm going to try saving it again, see what happens. We'll save it as a weird format. I don't understand what's going on with that. If it don't work, then we'll go uh, pop it somewhere else. Kind of strange. Yandex usually doesn't give any problems with this. Oh, seemed to like that. <laughs> Maybe it was the word and I gave it to vacation. Anyways. All right. Overwhelmingly, it looks like the word Perth keeps showing up. So I'm guessing it's Perth. She's going to go check out Perth. Oh, yeah, yo. Poppity pop pop. Loving it. Let's go ahead and knock the next one. Wag the tail. I'm guessing this has something to do with the dog. The team has been trying to work out where person of interest, Sarah. Now, who's this team? Is this our team and we're looking for these people? Or are we trying to hunt them down, assassinate them? What's going on? We want to find out where Sarah walks her dog. Why? Why do we care? 
This is part of a building up of a profile of her movements. Okay. Can you have a look to see if you can find the town in which Sarah tends to take the dog out to? All right. Let's go back here. I think there was something in her. Okay. I'm going to assume Buster is probably her dog. Buster's favorite place. So, yeah, maybe. Let's see. So these are coordinates, so I'm going to guess we can go ahead and use Google and uh, pop that in and go to Maps. Let's go ahead and map that out. And let's see where this bad boy takes us. Okay, it looks like the town is called Brecon, B-R-E-C-O-N, United Kingdom. Sweet. Let's try that. See what's going on with that. I've already solved this. Really? How did I already solve it? <laughs> Something's bugging out. Now, I did go through some of these with a previous account a while back, but it's not this account, so that's kind of strange. All right, anyways, we get it right. <laughs> Things are tripping out on me today. I don't know what the deal is. All right, there's a new person of interest, George. Okay, we did see a George in the tweets, right? And so under the tweets and replies, we did see him uh, replying to a George. Can you find anything interesting on him? Something he perhaps thinks you can't work out. All right. Uh, let's come back to James. Yeah, right here. Look at that. Replying to George Watson. So I'm assuming this is the George they speak of. Anything interesting about George? Let's see here. He's got a crooked smile. I am very good at my job. Okay, nothing really weird there. So he retweeted. Nothing interesting there. Okay, Mysterious Times. Okay, it looks like all kinds of different coronavirus kind of stuff. Okay, this is the BBC article. Another retweet. Another retweet. Another retweet. I'm kind of looking for something that he tweeted so we can see if there's anything interesting. Another retweet. Another retweet. Boy, he likes to read. Oh, what's this? Um, I've been learning a lot about security recently. I've encrypted my password and now it's secure and unbreakable. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is hilarious, man. All right. So we got a weird string of characters here. Now I'm going to introduce you to a tool pretty sweet made by the GHCQ. So they're the intelligence agency over in, uh, England, I believe, right? MI6, is that what they are? So it's called CyberChef. Love this tool. Not only does it do cryptography stuff, but it also does a variety of other things where you can actually uh, filter out things. You can make it uh, easily readable. You can take JSON and switch it back and forth. You can do encryption, decryption, all kinds of cool things here. Uh, so typically what you do is you would put something in the input. And then over here, you would pick something and drag it over as a, what they call a recipe to have it do something. So if I wanted to, I don't know, uh, URL decode it. If I thought it was a URL decode, I would drag that over and drop it here in the recipe. And then down here, if everything goes well with this recipe, it would then give an output that I was hopefully looking for. Now we don't actually know what it is that we're looking at here. So there is one for that called magic. And it will look at some different properties and try to suss out what it may be that we're looking at. So we're going to go ahead and drag magic on over. All right. So let's see down here on the bottom. Check this out. So they're saying the recipe click to load from base 64. Okay. So they're telling us, obviously this must be some sort of, uh, I guess base 64. Let's click it and see what happens. All right. Look at this. I'm amazing. One, two, three. <laughs> Interesting. And again, you can also go ahead and uh, put it to base 64. So if you wanted to encode it, you can just drag that recipe in. And it's cool too, because you can drag things in one after the other. So you can kind of build up your recipe, quote unquote. And you can actually look online, and this is a sidebar here, but this is really interesting that you guys should look for, is um, you can look up Cyber Chef recipes. And I'll just pick the first one at random. I don't know who these are, but I'm just going to grab it anyways and see. But they get some pretty interesting stuff, like right here, extracted encoded data. 
Um, these don't look like much of a recipe. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, like, if I wanted to uh, invoke obfuscation, that's a PowerShell deal, I think. Oh, sweet. Recipe details. I don't know where you would put that in. Would you put it in here? And I have to read about that. But anyways, pretty cool stuff that you can do. There's a variety of different recipes that you can use. Pretty awesome stuff. I would highly recommend checking out more about Cyber Chef. But I think this is interesting about George is that he's amazing. One, two, three. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's see if that's the case. He is amazing. Very cool. All right, man. We are cranking right along here. Propped up. We've obtained what we believe to be an office uh, closed caption TV or closed circuit TV camera feed. And we have reason to suspect that it is overlooking one of the work desks belonging to one of our targets. <laughs> Can you confirm the color of the desk surface and the color of the desk legs just so we can be sure of what we're seeing and task the reconnaissance team further. <laughs> Enter the flag as surface color, then a space, and then the legs color. All right. Whew. It's quite an ask there. Let's, uh, let's pop on over here. We'll start with James and see if there's anything interesting about, I don't know, a work desk mentioned anywhere. Just finished work. It was a tough eight hours. Nope, nothing there. Wish it would stop raining. There's no extra tweets here. This is just the Christmas tree one. <clears throat> Looks like some more political discussion. More political discussion. <laughs> so there's that what three words. We should have actually looked down a little further to determine that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is a retweet. So nothing really interesting there. Another retweet. More retweets. And this thing on. Yo, just got Twitter. All right. So there's isn't really... Look like there's anything there. Let's go over to Sarah. Or actually, I'm sorry. Uh, are we under the tweets and replies? Because usually tweets and replies will have... Yeah, okay, we are. All right, so we knew about George and Sarah. Let's go over to... I don't know. Let's go to George. And let's look at George's tweets and replies. See if there's anything interesting there. All right, so maybe he knows some other people that we don't know about yet. Replying to Pierce Rees. Okay, what is that? Let's go check that out. We don't know who that is. So, so far we have James, we have Sarah, we have George, and now we have this Pierce Rees. Stupid how people are insecure with sensitive data these days. <laughs> hmm, what is that? Let's go see what that is. The page doesn't exist. Okay, all right. Loves his cat. All right. I don't see a desk there. I don't think that's a desk. That looks like a stand of some sort. And I'll get a cat. Let's uh, click on the picture and see if maybe there's more. Um, no, I don't think that's a desk. And that's definitely not a workplace. So let's go on a little further. Okay. So I don't really see see much here um, let's go to his tweets and replies see if there's anybody he's bringing in remember party at mine don't forget I can't wait for this one as an address look at that Cardiff uh, March 7th 8 p.m. sharp so there's a party going on we got Sarah Soph Jones George Watson and whoever that is oh there we go look at that so we have a desk of some sort here. I'm going to guess this is the desk in question. So is that brown and white? Let's go see. Brown. Oops. Actually, not a space. Just a space. Brown, space, white. Incorrect. Um... Gray. Let's see. Brown and gray. Hey, there it is. So that's gray, huh? Guess I didn't really see that very well from there. All right, pretty cool stuff. So we got some more players in the mix. Awesome. All right, let's move on to the next one. Blue and green. So these are usually hints. 
So that's good to know. James has a habit of getting in the way of things. All right, we're going back to James now. James has a habit of get. Hey, look at that. Let's see. Um, so we got green eyeball and blue eyeball. Blue and green. James has a habit of getting in the way of things. I feel it's something to do with this picture. Maybe some steganography. Hey, look at that. I can see you. Hmm. Oh, I get it. Ha, <laughs> James' profile picture is in the way. You can't see the words. <laughs> That's pretty smart. I like that. So green and blue was kind of tipped me off there. So I can see you would be, I guess, our answer. James is in the way. Oh, yeah, yo. All right. Clocking out. We're trying to plan when is best to break into James James's house to plant a bug. What time does he start work? UK time. Okay. So, um, hmm. What time frame does Twitter... What time frame does Twitter do its time? Like, if I look at a tweet, I wonder what that time frame is. Let's see. Let's click on one of these. Okay, so it says 12.41 p.m. So what is that? Is that is that the time zone that this person posted at? Uh, let's see. Let's see if that's the case. Time zone settings. Now, I'm not logged into Twitter, so there's nothing I can change there. Uh, on Twitter, you can see the time when the tweet was posted. Don't have permission to view the page, really. Twitter shows time stamps as a local meeting time in general, but that depends on your time zone settings in Twitter. So I don't actually have any time zone settings in Twitter. Wow. Core doesn't like me up in here. Which time zone in it? Let's take a look at Stack Overflow. <laughs> time zone of each tweet is automatically converted to the local time zone. So that would be their UK time, right? So I would assume that's I would assume that's the UK time. Yeah. That's what I kind of gather from that. All right, let's see here. Uh, really mean half. Sarah, blah, 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 lovely shot of getting off the train. Okay, so... This is, um, well, they want to know how long he was at work. What time, oh, what time does he start work? Uh, let's see, set on the train, home now, just finished work. All right, so let's see. All right, so it was a tough eight hours from 5 p.m., right? So, was that right? I think so. So 9 to 10 to 11, 12 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 9 a.m., right? Working 9 to 5. I'm going to say maybe 9 a.m. would be our 8 hours. <laughs> so do they want 9 o'clock? Do they want 9 a.m.? No. Do they want maybe 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock a.m.? Okay, I don't know. Are they doing different time? 10 o'clock? How about 12 o'clock? 112 o'clock. Okay, pretty strange. <laughs> uh, 14? What? 14 o'clock. Um, so that's... Two o'clock, so is it... That's weird. That's not eight hours. <laughs> um, I guess, let's see. So it was nine to five, right? So let's see. I'm in central time, so... Let's say 9 a.m. UK time. It's 3 a.m. Hmm. Well, that's not... 
That's weird. So I don't understand that one. <laughs> but we got it. I guess you just plug in a bunch of times until you get it right. But that's that's a bit strange to me. All right, moving on. You've been watching a bloke called George recently. You might have already done some work on him. He's not that smart by the look of things. Oh, that's raw, man. Could be a good person to look for a social media presence on. In particular, we're after an access key for a program his company uses so that the team can exfiltrate information to aid in our ongoing and fraud investigations. Man, these jabronis are pretty rough. I guess they must have committed some heinous crime and we're on the, uh, on the trail here. All right, so let's go back to old Georgie Porgy here. So tweets and replies. Let's see if he's got any kind of interesting information here. Uh, more retweets, more retweets, 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 sensitive data. Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, okay. That's not very smart. <laughs> sensitive data. Do not distribute software access code CTF 3404X71. <laughs> oh Lord. So CTF 3404. X71. Man, George. Get it together, player. <laughs> All right. Got that. Loving it. Party time. Our intelligence analysts have reported that a whole bunch of targets are having a party together. Now, we do remember seeing something about that on Pierce. Was it Pierce? Yeah. Party at mine. Don't forget. I can't wait for this one. So, yeah, Pierce. So, okay. So they got a party going on. We want to deploy agents to see what's going on, but we can't risk blowing our cover, turning up in a car. The road is pretty quiet, and the property has very clear view of its surroundings, our reports suggest. Find the location of the party and the best bus route number to reach the party from Principality Stadium, Cardiff, okay, where the surveillance team will be deployed from. This sounds silly, but we need to blend in with the public. The stakes are high. Enter the bus route and number you think is best for the situation. All right. I think we're going to need to pull up uh, some Google. And um, let's see here. Let's do, uh, let's go to maps here. We'll do Google Maps. So we know the location we're trying to get to, right? Or from, okay, from. Search Google Maps. Um, Principality State, okay, so I'm assuming there. Okay, cool. And we want directions, right? Okay, choose a starting point. Okay, we want to reverse that because that's our starting point. And uh, let's see, 159 Ladern Road, Cardiff. Do we need all of this? I don't know how these addresses work. I'll grab all of it. Uh, yep, sounds good. All right, so it is a real place, and it looks like there is a route. Um, was there a bus? Okay, here's a bus. So we have 57 route and 58 and X1. So let's take a look at the bus. Details. Okay, so looks like... Does that, does that mean 57? Okay, so 58 is the middle. So we're starting at 57 here. And it looks like route, it jumps into route 58. So I'm guessing we'll put in 57, maybe? Booyah! Nice! Pretty interesting right there. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. 
All right, we got one more to rock. Let's do it. Our analysts have been trying to get proof of a target's phone number. We want to move ahead with the arrest, but we must get evidence that the phone number that we've got is indeed theirs. We need to be sure, due to the highly sensitive nature of the case, we cannot confirm the target's name with you at this time. Please have a look to see if you can find their phone number. When you call the target's number, I'm not calling any number, or the last three words you hear, you can also just enter the phone number as your answer, and that's fine as well. Hint, it will be obvious when you find it, but finding it will not be obvious. Okay. All right. So, hmm. I don't remember seeing any phone numbers on James. We didn't really check Pierce's too much. Let's see if there's anything there. No phone number here. No, no phone number there. No, actually, let's see. Was there a phone? No, there's no phone number there. <coughs> Excuse me. What about these numbers that are written on here? 30, 60, 12, 24. Is that a, is that a, it's not a phone number, I don't think. 306. Yeah, that's not a phone number. Uh, let's see. You left your debit card. Hmm. Anything interesting on the picture? No? Okay. I don't see anything interesting there. So there's nothing here, right? It's unavailable. Unavailable. Okay. Love my cat so much. Okay, soon a Samsung. So this is just Samsung's Twitter, right? So it won't have anything. Okay, so it's not going to have anything about phone number for him, but um, so nothing there, right? No extra tweets. Nope. So there's something to do with Samsung there, I'm guessing. And that is it. Hmm. All right, well, let's look at Sarah. Oh, Sarah was in there, too. That's definitely not a phone number. Let's look at her tweets and replies. Uh, I changed the password for the shared drive at work. It's now Peertree098. Okay, is that that's not one of the questions? <coughs> you think that would have been one of the questions, but uh, apparently not. But that's no phone number. Okay, just a picture there. Ooh. Retweets, retweets, retweets. That's it. Hmm. Um, how about George? Okay, we already looked at it. I don't remember any pictures or any phone numbers before this. There's the access code. We already figured out what that is. Mm, okay, retweet. George Watson replying to Sarah. Thank you. Okay, nothing there. More retweets. I'm so jealous. I wish I was going. <coughs> hmm. Interesting. Let's see. I think we have a tweet. Let's see. Let's go take a look at this. Hmm. All right, so nothing there. Let's go back here because I think there were some other users. Uh, okay, so we got Sarah. What about Soph Jones? Account suspended. Hmm. Okay, so I can't do anything with that. And what about this one? They're not even... Gen MP7? That's MP79. That's not the right one. Hmm. Uh, I'm a little flabbergasted here. Well, I suppose it's our last one. We can go ahead and blast a few points here to unlock a hint. Yeah, we'll open the hint. Shouldn't be telling you this, but the target's name is Sophie Jones. Her account is suspended. You're looking for her email. This this is broke. <laughs> I think this uh, CTF is broke. Looking for email address and I potentially help you get the phone number. We already tried Sophie Jones and it was a no go for Sophie. 
Mm. Um, wow, that's weird. So I think it's broken. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't, I don't get that. But either way, whew, well, that sucks. Right to the end, and then it, it's broken. <laughs> That's a pretty sucky deal. Uh, but that is what it said, right? Should we tell you? The target's name is Sophie Jones. Is there another Sophie Jones? That was a lot of Sophie Jones. <laughs> but it's not the one that's in that tweet. We are in the UK. Let's just grab this and see. Yeah, I think this is a rabbit hole. I don't think this is going to uh, help us at all here. There's a lot of Sophie Jones. And I would You would think, you would think that it would go with the the one that was there with Pierce. So, yeah, I think it's broken. Yeah, you would think it would be just one of these, like this one right here. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. So, I guess we can't really solve the last one. That's a downer. Either way, we did pretty good. We got quite a few of them here, all the way towards the end. But I'll do a little research and find out what the deal is with that. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see if anybody else came across that problem. Cyber, and now it's really irking me. Uh, detective, CTF, I don't know, uh, solutions maybe? Let's see if anybody else came across that problem. Uh, let see. Life online, narcissism popped up. Clocking out. The guy didn't even fill out. Clocking. Oh, nope. He didn't do they didn't do that one either, or the clocking out one. I think those two are bugged. Uh, let's see, is this another one? Uh yep. Looks like it may be. Let's check it out. Let's see if this lady figured it out. See if she had the same issues as we did. So I'm assuming it's down further. Oh, wait a minute. This is something different. Uh, let's go up a little further. I don't know what these other ones are. These are investigation ones, I think. Okay, this is weird. Oh, so we're not looking for... What? These are weird. Let me scroll down and see if we can find ones that we're familiar with here. I think these are different, those other different ones that we saw. Uh, let's scroll down and see if we see anything that we recognize. Hmm. All right, so I don't know what the deal is here, but let's close this out. And it was called, uh, what was this called? Life Online. It's irking me. I gotta know why. I gotta know what the deal is here. Okay, so is this the same, same lady or a different one? Cardiff University. Oh, so it was created by somebody at Cardiff. That's interesting. Um, okay, so yeah, this is the one we just did. So let's see. I'm curious what she did for the clock in one. Choo choo. Okay, looks like everything else you got pretty legit. Wag the tail. Narcissism, I think clocking was right. Next. Uh, post was at 4.02 p.m., which means he started work at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. did not work, neither did 8, 0800 or 8 o'clock. Neither did a bunch of other guesses accounted for possible lunch breaks. Um, they said, I then tried submitting every hour just to see which one would work. 14, 14 o'clock eventually works. So, yeah, I'm still confused about that. So, okay, so it wasn't just us. Obviously, it's confusing to some others. All right, let's uh, find out what's going on with this 
other one. Okay, we get that. So, okay, so, so when she did it, this person was, the person account was there. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So, her name was Sophia Kenneth. Phone number right there, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Strange. Okay, so I guess it wasn't meant to be. Uh, um, maybe maybe a lot of people were hammering that and uh, they decided to take it down. <laughs> Who knows? Sorry for going down the rabbit hole, but I had to find out it was driving me nuts. All right, so we knocked out quite a few of these. So hopefully these techniques helped you guys with the OSN stuff. And um it wasn't too difficult to kind of wrap around on this. We'll probably go ahead and do some of the other ones on another video. Probably do some general knowledge ones just to kind of knock out and see what they actually have here. OSINT, it's an acronym you might have heard before. What could it mean? Open source intelligence. What? Uh, okay, I spelled it wrong. Let's try that. <laughs> cool. All right, so it looks like just some basic stuff here. But either way, we may knock out some more of that. But I hope you guys enjoy that. We're going to do some more of these, I think, because these are kind of fun, except when they uh, blow up on you at the last minute on the last, very last one. Kind of sucks. But um, but we're going to do some more of these probably for our Cyber Threat Intel one for Intel Bytes. So subscribe to the channel. we got some more coming up. And we'll get into some more pop, pop, pop videos as well as more Intel Bytes OSINT. And I'm also doing a video series on building your own open source intelligence cyber threat intel VM from scratch. And uh, we covered Recon NG on the first one. We'll cover some other ones like Spiderfoot and uh, Harvester and those of that coming up in uh, some later videos. So make sure you stay tuned for that. We're also going to be starting to do live streaming. And I'm probably going to use YouTube first just to kind of mess around and see how that works well. Maybe I'll try some Twitch on an off day, but uh, it'll probably be during the weeknights around maybe, I don't know, 8 o'clock Central Time, something like that. That'd be my guess. So be on the lookout for that if you guys are interested. Until next time, peace out, players.